Welcome back. Here we are back in my kitchen and I have a really special treat for you today. I've been seeing in the carnivore groups where they're making this toffee, so I'm like, I, I couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it. I had to try it. So I tried it a couple days ago and oh my goodness, I had to make it for you. It's a one ingredient carnivore toffee. You're not going to believe this, really. So in here, you, you, you want a pan, a oh, light colored bottom, no dark colored pan. And in here I have one stick of butter. Yes, that's it. One stick of butter. And you're going to put it on medium heat. So I have this. And you're going to melt it. The other day when I made it, I just took the butter out of the refrigerator. This I had... Um, softened I thought well maybe it's going to melt faster for you so we wouldn't just be here all day this goes through several stages so I want you just to watch all of the stages first we're just melting the butter maybe I'll turn it up this this burner is not as hot as my stove so I'll turn it up a little till we get it melted and you're going to see several stages it's going to you know, the solids are going to separate, and then it's going to get foamy, and then it's going to turn dark. It's going to smell like hazelnuts, and oh, you're, you're just, and I didn't believe it. I just didn't believe it, and I, I had to try it, and I tried it yesterday. I, I ate one, and I'm like, this does taste just like toffee. It's just butter. Just butter, no sweetener, nothing, just butter. So I'm stirring until all the butter is melted. It's pretty much melted. And now I will stop stirring. And you're just going to watch it. And every once in a while, you just shake the pan a little. But if you see, you can see now it's starting to separate. Usually when it got to the separating part, I'm like, okay. I'm take I'm I, I'm not cooking this anymore. It's going to ruin it. But it's what's called browned butter. I'd never had browned butter before. It tastes so amazing. I can imagine um, putting that in cookies and cakes. Oh my! Well, I'm going to turn it down now because it's starting here. You can hear it too. It's going. It's starting to sizzle. It's starting to turn brown, but. So it should be on medium heat. I, I had to turn it up to high just to get it going. See how it's starting to foam? And depending on the butter that you use, some is better than others. Some have a higher water content than others, and that will uh, determine how much foaming you get. But I, I didn't believe it was going to foam, and then I made it, and it's like, oh my gosh, this is foaming. This, that's why you have to have a big enough pan you know, a wide or big pan because it will foam. Now at this point you're not supposed to stir it, but wow, now it's gonna start foaming. It's sizzling and bubbling and it's gonna really start foaming. Now's the foaming. Look at this foaming. Look at it foaming. It's amazing. And you can see it's browning. You can see some of the foam is brown. That means the butter is browning. Wow, look at that foam. Now it's brown foam coming up. So I am going to stir just to, not stir, but just to make sure it's not burning. Well, I don't want this to burn, so I'm going to turn it off. And I'm going to pour it into a measuring cup, a glass measuring cup, so then I can pour it into molds. Be careful, this is very hot. And then I'm gonna pour it into molds. What I did the other day, I made these, I had them made in these molds, but then I found, when I looked for my other set, I found these cute little heart molds. So today I'm going to make heart mold, heart shaped carnivore toffee. So, other than this one that I put way too much in, take a little out. We're going to put that, put this in the freezer. And as I said, I made some the other day. So 
So this is what I made the other day. You can just pop them out, um, pop them out, put them in a baggie, and whenever you want some toffee, I'm going to taste this. Mmm. And it's chewy like toffee. This is amazing. One ingredient, carnivore toffee. You need to try this.